Hi there, welcome back to this video and this video is about improving your productivity. Yes, today I will going to show you some of the shortcuts of Tableau which will improve your productivity. So if you have seen any expert user of Tableau, you have seen, you must have seen that uh, they are not using any uh, mouse or anything to do the regular operations like uh, going into the presentation mode or creating a new sheet etc so all of these things really increases our productivity as well as give an impression that this user or this developer is an expert developer who is doing not only doing the work very fast but knows all the tricks and all the shortcuts of the software so that's why i'm really amazed by all the shortcuts that i use and i hope uh, you will also enjoy these shortcuts so for that what i'll do is i will take the superstore file as a sample workbook which is available to even you as well so the first shortcut is presentation mode so for example when we hit this presentation mode we go in a presentation mode but for this we need to use the mouse so i'm pressing escape button right now and going out of the presentation mode so what i need to do to go in a presentation mode is press f7 so whenever I press F7, I don't have to use my mouse and I press F7 again and I'm coming out of the uh, presentation mode. So that's your, your shortcut number one. The shortcut number two is creating a sheet. So for example, we have sheets like this, the Forica sheet and all, and we need to create a new sheet. So what we can do is press Ctrl M. So as soon as I press Ctrl M, M is mango. So Ctrl M is creating a new sheet. If I need to create another one, I will just press Ctrl M, another Ctrl M, Ctrl M. So it will keep creating a new sheet in which I can continue my work with the visualization. All right, so the third shortcut that I have for you is moving back and forth into these sheets. So many times when I was uh, starting with the tab view, I used to use my mouse, like going to a Forica sheet over here or a commission model. And thus later I realized that uh, this is hampering a bit of a productivity because uh, this can be easily done by the shortcut. So the shortcut for this is control page up, right? When you press control page up, you go towards right side. And when you press control page, I'm sorry, when you press control page down, you go on the right side. And when you press control page up, you go on the left side. So I just reverse that. So control page down on the right side, control page up on the left side. So this is how very quickly you can traverse back and forth into the different sheets or the dashboards that you have within the W. All right, so the next trick or the next shortcut that I have for you is swapping the rows and columns so let me see if i have a similar simple chart so for example like this so this is where you have in these rows you have column corporate consumer and home office and then these are basically rows and nothing is basically given on the um, on the columns so if you need to swap it you need to go over there you need to click and this is how it basically swap it doesn't look good so what you need to do if i use a shortcut to swap it back is Control W. When I press Control W, as you can see, my mouse is over here. And if I press Control W again, it will swap the rows and columns. If I press Control W again, it will swap the rows and columns again. So instead of going over here and then pressing it, then seeing it, you can simply press Control W and swap the rows and columns, which gives an impression of a professional or expert user. All right, so the next trick or the next shortcut that I have is finding the values or finding the dimension or measures. So what you need to do is wherever you are, just press control F, you will automatically be gone over there in the search box and start writing anything, right? So nothing is coming from RA, but RO is something which is over there. So the shortcut is control F to search any field in the file that you have imported it. So control F is the shortcut. If you need to want to come it out, press escape and you will be out of the search and search it again since your cursor is over there. The next shortcut that I have for you is describing the sheet. So describing a sheet is a very common task and by using the shortcut control E, 
you can describe the entire sheet so it's basically a description so it's like you have to create a documentation or something you can simply click on the uh, describe a sheet either uh, going into the menu or press ctrl e as you can simply see you can copy this and paste it into a word file or a documentation file where you are doing the documentation so suppose if you have uh, 15 20 or even 25 30 different sheets you can simply press keep on pressing ctrl e for a quicker documentation which will again improve your productivity so for now i will just close this next shortcut i have for you is the show me if i click over here this this is uh, this box is open for me where i can see the visualization but let's say i'm outside over here and i've just clicked it over here and i want to see the visualization that is available for me i can press ctrl 1 so ctrl 1 if i press and if i press it again it will be hidden if i press again it will come back so ctrl 1 is your shortcut to see the visualization available in the show me so this way if you are giving a presentation or something to other users you know you can show your authority that you know a lot of shortcuts where even the show me you are opening up with the help of a shortcut so the next shortcut i have for you is control b and control shift p so what it does is it basically changes the height and uh, width of height and width sorry i said height height and width of the uh, chart that is available over here so if i press control b you will observe the chart you know the columns are shrinking on the extreme left side over here and if i press ctrl shift b the column is expanding so ctrl b and ctrl shift b is basically to adjust the this this width over here and uh, if you go to a different sheet let's say over here the forecast sheet and you need to readjust it so ctrl b as you can see has resulted into shrinking all the columns that you have and if I press Control Shift B, uh, I can see that still some more adjustment is needs to be done. So instead of using my mouse over here and doing it, I press Control Shift B. Yeah, uh, one more time because I can see the hashes over here. Control Shift B. Now this is perfectly fine. So without short, without uh, manually doing it, I have properly managed it with the help of shortcut. So if you need to shrink it, Control B. If you need to expand it, Control shift p and the next shortcut that i have for you is placing the fields onto a filter shelf so many times we have to place the fields on the filter shelf or row and column and i will just give you a quick uh, quick shortcuts about how to put it so for example we have we are over here let's say we want shift ship date on the filter shelf either we can drag it or what we can do is simply press Control shift f I'm sorry alt shift f and it will be show it will show us what what say what is the filter that we need to apply so maybe all in this case for now and click ok and the ship data is coming over here similarly if i need profit alt shift f and this will open up the filter and what we apply will come over there so that's one the next thing is uh, moving the the profit or the values to a respective uh, column or rows so for example um, let's say if i want along with quarter and month let's say i want uh, something else as well maybe let's say i need uh, state because what we have already region segment let's say what we want is state so where i want a state on the rows so i will press alt shift and x so alt shift and x will put the state over there and as you can see it's it's come over here and uh, so to put it in a column let's say over here we have uh, discount if i want to put it in a columns over there so discount will probably not going to look good so maybe something over here um product uh, let's say category which is at a very high level so alt shift c and you can see the category has come over here so for the rows if you want to put any field on the row the shortcut is alt shift x and for putting a field or moving a field to a column the shortcut is very straightforward alt shift c because with the c you can remember that it's column that is that you are 
that you need a field in. Also, there are shortcuts, as you can see, to put fields on the size, text, tooltip, and color. So, for example, if you want anything on the size, maybe, uh, let's say, product subcategory. In this case, I selected this. So, Control shift i will put it on the size over here. As you can see, the size, for the size indicator, you have subcategory. So, the shortcut is Control, sorry, Alt, Shift, I. And if you want something on the detail sheet, so for example, like product name, let's say we want on detail sheet uh, or detail card over here. So Alt Shift L will put the field on detail. So as you can see uh, over here, it's doing a calculation, but we have the product name over here as a on the detail sheet. Next is putting, let's say, category on color. So the shortcut is Alt Shift O. It will put color on the over here, as you can see, category. So it's been colored now. So remember the shortcut is Alt Shift and O. And to place a field on text is very straightforward with the name T itself. As you can guess, Alt Shift T is what you need. So for example, if I want ship status on text or label, Alt Shift and it will come on the text label. So over here you can see the ship status has been displayed over there for the ship status. So ship status probably will be coming over here and uh, as you can see there are like a lot of values that we have put it over there but that's okay we have been just experimenting with the shortcuts. Now last but not the least is uh, creating a calculated field. Now I have no shortcut for this is so generally what we do is go into analysis and uh, click over create calculated field so the shortcut for this is which in many cases within other software i have been using is alt a c which is like actually going into the menu so alt a so alt a is basically opening this and if i'm pressing c it is creating a calculated field so that's another way by which you can create or you can remember as many shortcut as you want trust me it looks so cool and it's like recorded in your mind when you will use it again and again because right now i just don't even have to think alt ac you know whenever i need to create a shortcut as you can see nobody is able to even see what i've just done but i have the calculated field in front of me which is where i will create a field like new calculated field press tab and start writing the expression let's say if i want some or anything so this way uh, you can create or you can have uh, a very productive Tableau work uh, when you are actually producing visualization or working within Tableau for production of visualization. And as well as I have seen it leaves a long lasting impression on your coworker or, or in front of the audience. Let's say you are showing something and with the help of shortcuts, you are basically showcasing how the level of expertise that you have within the tableau so i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will meet you in a new video with some new topic